Does the new A24 horror film X go hard? Or is it as limp as an old man getting out of a cold tub? I'm here to tell you about it right now. This review will give you no spoilers. I'm just gonna give you a quick idea of what you can expect from a movie like this. For some people, just seeing that A24 logo will scare them off. It's not for everyone for sure. They're a studio that likes to go outside the norm, think outside the box. And for others like myself, that's a big positive, even if the movie doesn't land. And right now, A24 for me is, is like 50-50. Sometimes I go in really enjoying them. Other times I leave thinking, man, Wish I would have done something else for two hours than watch a woman cry into a piece of cake. I bring up the trepidatious nature for some to see an A24 movie because this is probably the most straightforward one of their films has ever been. The film revolves around a bunch of young adults going to Texas to shoot a film that will be rivaled by none in the porn industry. You have the fearless leader, the hot up and comer with the unique look and that X factor we're all looking for. You have Brittany Snow playing the typical blonde who's not afraid to get her hands dirty and her mouth. We have the well-endowed male talent played by Kid Cudi. Then there's the passionate filmmaker slash videographer. And then finally, the timid church mouse who's going to have her world rocked by the time this film's over. The crew rents out an old farmhouse from some real salt of the earth old folks. Really, really stand up people. And the rest is history. I'm not going to go into the plot any more than that. What I will say is, if you're looking for some violence, if you're looking for a little bit of excessive gore, you come to the right place. It's all backloaded. This is a A24 film, so you're gonna get a bit of a slower burn to start things out, but I never found myself bored during it. I was very engaged. And quite frankly, the movie's called X, so I was expecting a little bit of nudity, a little bit of adult content, and thankfully the film delivered in that department too. And I have to say bravo to Brittany Snow for bringing her A-game. I was very impressed. I mean, not as impressed as my wife was with Kid Cudi and what's happening downstairs. It's not real, I kept telling her and myself. It's not real. I'm a man. Damn it. I'm a man. For the slasher fans out there, I think you're gonna be in a good spot here. The last 35, 40 minutes is intense shit. It's nonstop. Hearts racing, you don't know who's gonna survive, who's gonna get out, how they're gonna die, which, by the way, some beautiful murders in this, some real gorgeous stuff. It takes place on the brink of the 80s, 1979, we got good music accompanying it. A24 sometimes gets real obnoxious with their artsy shots. Thankfully, again, this one's pretty traditional. There was a point where they did a really wide berth of the farm and the people making their way across the field. And I thought to myself, oh my God, if this, if they make me sit and wait for five minutes for them to walk across this, and it was done. It was done before I could even finish my thought. Um, this isn't the Green Knight in that respect. When it comes to slashers over the years, audiences have come to expect a lack of um, critical thinking when it comes to the characters. Again, in this film, it's not bad. I liked all the characters in this movie, which is rare to say about a horror film in general. They were all very likable. Were there some bad decisions made here or there? Yeah. Were some of the people doing things that I wouldn't in a million years think to do? Of course. But you're on the spot, you're scared, you're panicked, you make bad choices. These were all very forgivable, and for the most part, I kind of agreed with a lot of things they did, so... Uh, all around, I wasn't frustrated with this movie. I really enjoyed it. It's engaging. The ending's incredibly intense. I'm, tell I'm telling you, 35, 40 minutes of just non-stop thrills going on. There's jump scares that are a little cheap. There's a really bad one early. I mean, not early on, but the first jump scare is really bad. I just thought, okay, really? Did we have to do this? There's probably five of those in the film. But uh, yeah, all around, I enjoy this. I would recommend seeing it if you uh, if you like some of the gore, some of the excessive violence, some nudity, a little penetration, short for penetration. You're gonna get it all here. And uh, yeah, it delivered. It delivers by the name. So let me know in the comments what you thought of the film. Like this video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't. I put out movie content all the time now. It's crazy how much I'm putting out. There's also a little YouTube notification bell. Make sure to hit that so these show up in your feed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. I agree that the title song should have been X Gonna Give It To You, but oh, you're still here. 
In that case, maybe think about joining me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Adam Olinger, where I play video games and talk movies there as well a couple times a week. You can also become a member on Patreon at patreon.com slash Adam Does Movies, or right here on YouTube via that join button and say, hey, here's a dollar a month, here's five bucks, keep doing what you're doing, and you might just find yourself getting exclusive content every month. So you scratch my back, I scratch yours, maybe one thing leads to another, next thing you know we're making our own acts. That was too much. Uh, see you later.